So, while I'm paddling out to the river here, I'm gonna go on a slight bit of a rant about generators. I own a camper, pull behind trailer, right? I own one. Hey, they're cool. They have their place. But when you take your camper to a rustic campground, meaning there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no sewer, there's not cable, it's not a KOA, right? If you're going to a rustic campground that you know has none of those amenities, be prepared to not have power, right? Like, don't use your fridge. Don't plan to bring food that you need your microwave for. Don't, you know, look at the weather and realize it's going to be 90 degrees during the day. And, you know, don't plan on running your air. You know, bring battery-powered stuff or solar-powered things, right? Camping has come a long way as far as solar technology lately. My camper has a little solar panel on top. But that's, that's not to say you shouldn't ever use a generator, right? I have a camper. I've taken mine to rustic campgrounds before, and I have used a generator. But be mindful of other campers too, right? Like, you know, my generator that I bought for my camper is one of the quietest on the market. It was still audibly loud, right? You can still hear it. But it's quieter. It's not one of those massive big bastards with wheels that you gotta, you know, wheel around and it takes 15 gallons of gas and you can run your entire house off of it. Those things are ridiculously loud and not meant for a campground. And, you know, the, the dude across the, the way from us started his up at, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning, 6.30 in the morning it was. Fired his up because, you know, he decided they needed power and their fridge had been running all night on propane or whatever. It's like, dude, thanks. Now we're all awake. Just because you're up doesn't mean everybody else wants to be up. So it's it's having the common courtesy for other campers. You know, I've, I've used my generator, but when I use it, A, my camper has solar panel on top. It's not enough solar to, to run it indefinitely. But it's enough to put it like in an off-grid mode on the fridge. It's enough to run the fridge and some lights and stuff, which is which is all you need, the fan. But you're not running air conditioning. You're not running your microwave off of it. You're not running your TV. Anything like that has a physical plug-in, you know, 120, 120 volts. You're not running that. But you can run all the 12-volt stuff off of it. And you can run the fridge off of it for, you can probably get two days out of it. So I took mine to a rustic campground and I was there for three days. On the third day, I had to use my generator. I waited until it was peak day, middle of the day. You know, it's like lunchtime. Everybody was either out doing stuff or they're all out. They got radios on and stuff. They're making noise anyway. Everybody's up. I ran it for one hour, just enough to charge up the battery so that I could keep running the fridge and it wouldn't drain my battery down to the point where it was gonna do damage to it. And then I shut it off. This guy's had it running since six in the morning. It's still going. It's, you know, almost 10 right now. He had it running yesterday when I got here. So I'm planning for this thing to be running all day. It's like, yeah, I came up to a rustic campground to enjoy nature and the sounds of nature so that I could hear your generator running all day. It's just... People, when it's their own, I guess, they don't realize, they're, they're not considerate of other people. And you need to be, especially up here in a rustic campground. If it was a KOA or something else, it'd be different, right? Or I guess you'd have power, but, you know, if, if, you're, if you're gonna take your 30-foot travel trailer to a rustic campground either plan to not be able to use stuff and just use the battery for your lights so you have some lights at night and then yeah you've got your creature comforts right you've got a toilet you've got your own 
you know, your own bathroom. You can still run your hot water tank. You can still run your furnace off of that. But like, don't don't bring a generator and plan so you can run your microwave and you can run your air conditioning. It's just rude. All right, well, that was a lot longer of a rant than I thought it would be, but that's my rant. Just everybody love everybody. Right? Just be respectful. Okay, I'm done. I'll go back to looking at this view.